What's up guys, it's Hotline Sun RCT bringing you another video for you guys. And now we're down to part 5 of the Emulation 2019 series that I've done for you guys. Last time around I covered a bit of the PlayStation 2 emulation scene uh, with that emulator. And today I'm going to move a little bit more into multi emulation in sorts because as you might have figured this time we're going to be covering a bit of fight fightcade now why choose fightcade instead of a standalone uh, emulator in this case there are many ways to uh, emulate the system that i'm going to be featuring here on fightcade which is neo geo now neo geo of course like I said before, and I, I keep and I stand by it, there are many ways to emulate the Neo Geo. You can emulate it on the phone, you can emulate it almost everywhere. Emulate it correctly and emulate it giving you tons of features and options and stuff like you get in Fightcade, I very much doubt it. Now, why do I choose Fightcade? I would dare to say as my favorite way to play the Neo Geo platform on the PC. Of course, now we have options like even uh, playing it on Switch that gives you a portable kind of a uh, way to play all your Neo Geo titles with the controls, everything nice and dandy. Now, what separates Fightcade not only from Neo Geo emulation, but emulation in general is the fact that it gives you so many options. I mean, it's done. If we're gonna be completely honest, it's not Fightcade. Fightcade is not an emulator. Fightcade is a platform that unites an emulator, a specific one for, in this case, arcade games, and it joins it with an online platform and uh, network layer and turns it into this amazing platform where all of us can just join in and play online and even communicate, chat, and do different stuff. Now, the first iteration was, you know, work in progress. It was a little slow in the beginning, but it started getting better and better and better up to the point where they made so many uh, improvements to it that they basically made a second iteration. That's where I am at right now. Now, of course, if I go full in to the fight cake in general I would bring up a menu and go through the games and just join in and hop into play this is not the case today I am going to be covering for the sake of my series of emulation 2019 what's good today the offline element to it and to do justice to this would be to mention what is the core emulator behind the fight cake uh, software and that would be final burn alpha that is the emulator running or the core of the emulator running as the backbone of the fight cade software so if we were to be completely honest that is the emulator that I'm gonna be featuring today and um, specifically because I believe this is going to be a segment of a segment in the sense that this is going to be, let's say, um, in the series, 5A. Why 5A? Because I plan to do a 5B and 5C eventually, where I cover other platforms. Uh, um, today I'm going to be covering Neo Geo, but later I can be covering uh, something from Toa Plan, or I can be covering something from, let's say, Cave, because it unifies all of those different platforms into one. If you want to see what I'm talking about, let's go right into the screen. Alright guys, so here we are at the Fightcade menu screen. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be recording this in window view, not going into full screen, even though you do have the option. But for some reason, 
uh, the recording setup does not play well with the going into full screen and coming back so I'm just gonna leave it like this because we do have the option of right clicking and it becomes sort of like a pseudo full screen but with a little white tiny bar on the top there so hopefully that's not gonna be a bother for you guys now we go into load and we find after configuring of course I'm not gonna go through all of that uh, how you configure your folders for the different RK types because like I said before this is going to be specifically for the Neo Geo platform that's what I have appearing here and I have it ma marked in the options because you can show the ones that are missing or you can show clones and stuff like that none of that is gonna be useful for this video at least for now uh, if you do want me to go through a rundown step by step how to configure and how to organize folders just drop a line let me know if you're interested and I'll do an update video on that so yeah let's mark here the Neo Geo games and let's boot one up right away now you guys know that I am a Samurai Showdown fan and that's the one that you know I, I really want to boot up right now but for the purpose of the emulator which is kind of like the star here let's run something I don't know uh, let's run something like a metal slug I guess maybe a random metal slug got all of them here but let's run let's run uh, number two now from here of course gotta make sure that we have the input that we want joystick zero is the one that I have set up let's put use preset That's not the one that I use. Oh, I think it actually is. Let me see. Nope. Okay, so let's configure that one quick, or we can just load up um, the Neo Geo one that I have previously saved. And it will change it to the one that I actually need. Except that this one right here has the D-pad and given that I like to play the metal slugs with arcade stick or with um, analog stick I can just go ahead right away and set it up right here just OK that and go right in right click we have ourselves the idea. Showing you guys examples like the Humble Bundle uh, games that were done for PC, kind of like ports. And as good as they, they look and feel and everything, they're just too limited when it comes to options and stuff like that. With this one, however, I feel that I get perfect balance. Of, let's say if I want to run a new video the exact same resolution without any filters looking just like the other I have that option. Uh, options for controls. I mean, I can hook up the arcade stick that I use for the fighting games and, and play like that, which is a plus. But also, if I want to run it at a very high resolution, I can do that as well. You can see here, this is very, very clean and it's running. No artifacts whatsoever to speak of, and the game is just being fun. You don't have to be worrying about things uh, crapping out all of a sudden. Heavy 
machine guns. Now, is it like the original? You know, is, is it so good that makes you think that it's uh, better than the original? Well, of course not. But I understand that at least we're playing it on the PC. This is, this is kind of as good as it gets. Here you don't have to actually get out of the game, you can actually just go back to the list and boot up another one. Let's do Polestar this time. Oh, wait, my mistake. I got the wrong game. There we go. That should be it. Changed my. Let's make it default so it just keeps it like that. semi full screen there <clears throat> now, even though I don't recommend it you can if you want to stretch out the image and make it oh my god I'm already destroyed Jesus okay you can stretch it out and make it uh, widescreen but for the new viewer experience I don't think that should be an option It's a matter of taste, so if you like it and you, you feel that you can't play or go back to playing the 4-3 the aspect ratio, you can always set it for widescreen as well. Of course, I am playing with the uh, Xbox One controller, and even though this is a good way to play it, I recommend wholeheartedly that you connect, if you're going to use this emulator, you connect it uh, to an arcade uh, fighting stick. It's the best way to play these games. I mean, with the sandwich controllers, uh, joystick and buttons and stuff, it just it doesn't get better than that. So let's see what else can we pick from here. Uh, let's do a King of Fighters. I think this is uh, Buddy's uh, Aaron Classic Gamer's favorite. At least I think. I'm not sure if it's this one or 98, but. I'm not too much into the whole. Fighters craze, I didn't really get into that. Although Bad Luck and some of my other friends, his brother, they absolutely love the series and I can see why. It's pretty it's a pretty awesome series. <clears throat> and then I completely didn't get the characters that I wanted. But it's okay, I'm not gonna be doing a long drawn out gameplay video because as I mentioned I will do gameplay specific videos. But later on, this is just for the purpose of, you know, showing you guys real time that it actually works and it works really well. Hmm, having issues with diagonals on the D-pad for some reason. Yeah. 
to see if I can correct the issue by mapping basically changing the d-pad for the joystick could be that I just suck the d-pad but I still lost them I gotta make up Okay, I kind of messed up here. Hold on, hold on. I kind of messed up. The input setup that I have here is not right. Okay, let's go back. Load the Neo Geo one. Use preset. And let's remap the buttons. There we go. Oh no wait, I mapped it left. There you go. And now right. That's it. Let's see if that helps. See, now I have my punches and kicks. I'm working with one punch button only. But of course, I need to do a samurai showdown. And that's going to be the last one for today, for this video at least. But with the best of the best, let's make sure I wonder if it saved it under uh, but with the D-pad, nope. Let's use it with the D-pad. Yeah, like you guys didn't know I was going to choose that one. Check the buttons are working here. Yep. I'm missing two buttons here. And this dude is not giving me any chances. Thing and should I keep it in? Let's actually go for the analog stick. I would have saved all of this trouble just by going and connecting my arcade stick, but no. I'll let you may have this one. Maybe not. Yeah, I was going to let him have it. 
I was going to let him have this round, but, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, now you understand why I love this emulator. Uh, specifically, Final Blood Alpha for playing the NGO titles. And now, Yubei had me. See, he distracted me. That's that's the that's the thing. That's what happened. No, you won't. See ya. And I mean it. Not only to Jubei, but to you guys as well. This is going to be all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. And my coverage of the Fightcade segment of Fightcade that covers oh Neo Geo games. So I will be with you guys very soon. Doing probably the Dreamcast emulator video. So I will see you guys then. I hope you have a great one. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.